Hi, today we are going to look at another feature of SQL 2012 and uh, that is SQL Server Data Tools. Now uh, SQL Server Data Tools uh, in particular is basically nothing but a reworked version of the um, Business Intelligence Development Studio and uh, contains the interface from which you can design cubes, integration services packages as well as reporting service reports. The feature that I'm mainly interested in showing you today is the uh, SQL Compare. And the reason for this is because while SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio did allow you to go ahead and create packages, reports, and cubes, the very fundamental, fundamental relational database has always been missing from a project perspective as far as this particular IDE is concerned. The only way you could create uh, databases and database projects earlier was using the, um, the Visual Studio environment, the Visual Studio IDE. And as you can see uh, on the screen in front of me, the Business Intelligence Development Studio that has been reworked as uh, SQL Server Data Tools is actually nothing but a Visual Studio shell. And therefore, now we have the ability to go ahead and integrate uh, database projects along with uh, the normal set of projects that we had previously. So let me just go ahead and show you how you want to do that. And I'll then show you how to use SQL Compare to go ahead and identify differences and things like that. The first thing that you want to do is just like how you would do in Visual Studio, you click on File, New Project, choose a SQL Server project. Right. Also, uh, by default, you should always go ahead and create a solution that you're uh, familiar with, something that you can name properly. But in this case, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just creating the project itself. So I'll say something like uh, Sample Database. And I'll just leave it at the default location, just press OK. At this point, my database is created. Now, uh, you can always just go ahead and keep adding folders and then creating your projects. Or, if you already have a database available, you can simply go ahead and import the database. So I'm going to go ahead and create a database called uh, Sample Database. And I'm just creating a dummy table in the sample database. So let me just go ahead and now import this uh, import this particular object into uh, this project. Right, so I'm going to click new. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name for the connection. Not name, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, specify the name of the server to to which I want to connect. Obviously, sample database test connection everything is good and at this point I've gone ahead and connected to a database and uh, I've also gone ahead and specified that I want to import the application scoped objects reference logins I'm not really interested in permissions at the moment and database settings also not really something that I want to do at the moment now uh, the next option is you can go ahead and specify the folder structures generally a uh, schema and then object is a good way to start it keeps everything very organized So at this point, it's going to start importing the objects, and as you can see, uh, really not much happening there because uh, I just have one table and one schema. So it's imported everything. You press finish, and under the DBO schema, I've got a table, and the table is ABCD. And if I open it up, I've got the schema. As you can see, here, it doesn't just directly open up the schema itself or the, the script itself. It even opens up the ID, so you can do uh, work directly from the ID itself. So at this point, I've got the uh, Solution Explorer open and I've got a table created and uh, things look good. So I've got uh, a project with the database objects in it. Now say for example I've gone ahead and made modifications to this particular uh, database. Say for example I've created a procedure And now I want to go ahead and import this particular object into my database. Or say for example, I also go ahead and alter 
the database and uh, add a column to it so I've got one new object and one modified object as you can see here now I want to go ahead and import that information into my database at which point I'll go ahead right click the project and select schema compare now when I do this it's basically asking me to compare this particular project against target now in my case I want to go ahead and merge changes from the database into the source code so I'll go ahead and change the source to the database I've already created the connection previously so I'm just going to reuse it and the target in this case is going to be my project which is sample database I press OK and I get a message saying that uh, there's some changes so press compare if you want to find them out so I press compare and it's actually performing comparison as you can see here and once that's done you can see that this is a new object a procedure that's being added and then you got an existing object ABCD where there's the change as you can see the dates so this is how you want to go ahead and uh, identify differences in the schema and now that I know these are the changes I want to go ahead and merge I'll just go ahead and press update and it's going to identify these changes and sync them up with the existing objects that I have here so you can see that I've got a new folder called store procedures and it's got the, uh, the store procedure that I've created if I want to validate it I can press compare again and now there are no changes you can also go ahead and save the schema compare um, file so that you can identify or create a report out of uh, what's been modified and as you can see when I double click that particular script I can see the new column that I've added so this is pretty much all there is really as far as uh, SQL Server data tools and schema compare is concerned and as you can see it's really useful for DBAs and developers who have been struggling with having two different interfaces to work with I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.